Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. If you haven't already, give us a lot of like and subscribe on this Mini. This is a Mini. So it's a Mini Cooper 1.6. Which if you have a look there, you can see it's been overheating. Overheating. He's a new radiator cap. Um, but, I suspect head gasket. So, everybody knows about these Minis. These are so special, special nuts. Down here. Well, not special, it wasn't designed, it was special. So, alloy housing, alloy head, alloy housing. Have a good, I mean, you get a short socket here actually. I don't think that's going to fit. I'll see if I get a short 36 on that. Right, so, we'll come back in a minute for that. Right, so we've cracked on a good bit. That's all. That's all off in there, so I'm going to get tamed up and start taking the steel off now. It's not too far away. Here it goes. I don't know if it's like. I'm going to out on these cars to be honest. These little buggers. Uh, it's an alloy to alloy housing. No idea why they decided to do that. So we've taken the plugs out just to make it turn a bit easier. So let's stick this in. Make it out, can't see what's happening. Down the hole. That is. Very wet, those pistons. Alright. So, alright, so if we look at this piston. If you can see in there, that one is all black. I've scraped a little bit. That one's spotlessly clean there, less so it's been getting washed out. Same with that one. So the heads are in the middle, the gaskets are in the middle, um, which is probably going to be a banana. Yeah, so that one there, the piston is black. That one there, hard to see obviously, but we'll all see when the head's off completely. So I can see that they, those have been getting washed out the kiln. So that's kind of what's been happening, the compression's been going in there, so I was right enough. It's probably going to be like a little banana, so I'm not saying I'm always right, but uh, certainly I thought that would be the case. About 10 minutes in the, the wee car, it's um, spewing coolant everywhere, so uh, it was never going to be good. So I'll put the tool in here. It's just been working okay, it looks it. And then, oh, damn. Oh, we do that. There we go. So, I've got stuff all over. Don't worry about that guys, this is soft rod. This is soft material. It's not going to damage it. Just need to be careful. I'm looking for that little point up. Oh, we're stuck again.
All right, if I can. So I'll not change just a bit there. Uh, 
drop. Back on the bottom. But... Get a little easier. Yeah, somebody's been into this before. It's got some time. I wonder if somebody's did a chain on it. The chain looks quite new, to be honest with you. So it's maybe been somebody's been in here and done this before. Um, don't know what. Need to speak to the owner. See if he knows. He's had this before, man. I think. So. Uh, I did advise him not to fix this one. But he's made the commitment, so he's going to do it. I'm not a big fan of these things, to be honest with you. I don't think we'll be like. So, I'm sure I've seen something that come out. Oh, there we go, that's come out. Very crap looking. Not too far away here. when you're slacking rockers and tightening rockers because the valves are pushing on them you don't want to break the fingers so you bit at a time, take your time feel what's going on these off, but I'm going to slacken them all off because I want the cam gear off. So I need the new cam. I mean you get the bolts no bother. But we need to lock the cam. We need to lock the cam.
a bit oily. Right. Right, so we have removed the back of the head. So that's how they are. That is warm as well. Ow! So that was sore. So we'll put that in the rocker. Uh, put that in the rocker with the rest of the bits. I'll take these timing. Guide. Uh, covers out now. Somebody's had them out before, but looks it. Yes, yes, I saw Bigger than an eight. Bit ten, maybe. Captain Ten. There's a Captain Ten. So, let's see, let me get it with that. Yeah, it wanted too tight. Somebody's had them off, but looks it. So, somebody's maybe done a chain on it. One of the bongs out. That's one of the bongs there. You can see the paint marks. Somebody's been in with it at some point, and it's life. I'm not quite sure why we're back in it. The mad, the mad half our heads. That's what's smart here. Oh, no, I'm very tight, I guess. I shouldn't be too tight, to be honest. A couple's been leaking for sure. Tens. 
Raptors. So that's all I lose to get the guides out. It's much like the BMW engine over the other one that's waiting on the engine. Uh, oh, which unfortunately, there's some more delays on that one now. So I don't know how we can do, unfortunately, on those things. So I think. Build me food. Well, no, I'd I, 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 I seen your phone last night, but it was late, so, and the phone was off yesterday, so that wasn't half of it. Nah, I took yesterday off, so uh, back in the day, back in today, so I'm uh, having fun today. Bye, I shall catch up with you later, mate.
Yep. Oh my god. Come out. Let's take a out of it. It's not bad, to be honest. I wonder if it's had a chain. So not much left to do now. Right there, I think. That's a wire harness removed from there. Put that bolt back in there actually. Bolts tight in there. 
one's going to be an issue in the future. So we do my new engine mount in this cab also. It's all splat, perished. It's because the car's been sat for too long. The old rubbers don't like it. Thirteen is down here on the time location. Take these first. I've drained all the coolant oil for this as well. All the oil sat in the head, mind you. Just kind of says that there's oil in these engines that can't drain away. See it all there. It's all lying there. Not good. I'll take these two bolts and put them in the rocker as well. And I need to start taking these head bolts. I'll start for outside the rocker we're in. That pretty slack, guys. Tells me it's like banana. I mean, that's just. It's, uh, I know it's a big bar, right? But that head's not very tight at all, man. Head's not very tight at all. Which kind of suggests it's had a severe warpage. So I'm going to go away and be checked now. Right, ah, very slack, guys. Newtons are forced to get those slackened. Uh, and I've not had to use all my guns to get these. Uh, very slack. Which tells me the head's warped. Could be for the bin.
has washers on there as well. I must probably stretch bolts, so I'll keep a hold of them just now a bit. Oh, actually, that's interesting. It's like the camshaft carrier's all pitted. It's definitely interesting. That's worth a second look at. I think. I think we'll maybe need to ask engine room about that. That's most probably where this head will go to the engine room. King Stevie, king of the heads, king of the engines. So Why do they make the space so tight? Uh, it's a very good question. You need to go in and ask BMW, what on earth were you doing there? Why did you do that like that? Side the cylinder here, didn't I? So two six. Of course, it's an X size. Six size. I'll show you in a second what's happened to it. I knew when I started taking the head bolts off it that it wasn't going to be very good. Is there a slack? Right, so hopefully I'm right. All right. Right, so you can see what I mean with the. So take that bungee off. Flick away the bungee. Good stuff. There you go, sorted. Right, going to do me a favour. Uh, see a bit of the cardboard. Feel a bit of it. See a bit of it over the right. Black Max, you back to the right. Oh, yeah. That's what you said. That's me. So, some of the heads doing there. Um, and I'll show you. So, you can see there where the water's been coming in. See, it's all cleaned. Mm -hmm. You can see there where the water has been getting in. What's the next move then? The next move? Uh, we'll need to get the head off it and get it, get it pressure tested and skimmed. Uh, yeah. From Stevie to it. Uh, we'll need to get it to the engine room, aye. There's a bolt there. That's a dull. Uh, we're locating this gasket. We're locating the cylinder head. Do you want me to move my thing again? Yeah, if you could, aye. Right. That's that. So that's to hold the chain up on the bottom, can't you? What would happen if you dropped the chain, like? Yeah, we just need to locate it back onto the gear. So, so I head gasket thermostat housing. Uh, aye, it's certainly been sweet. Uh, I'm going to go for a bed it as well actually because it's all orange. It's only really looking cool out here. Uh, so a radiator, head gasket, a top of water pump. 
Aye, a few bits in this, so... <laughs> oh, it's a chain on this one, eh? So you can see, you can see where the water's been coming in, I think. And we'll take in water. Cleaned up that one for sure. That's been me scraping. Right, so, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Go for it. So, everything's all cleaned, skimmed, bars are lubed, bolts are lubed, everything's prepared, head's been skimmed. Um, so, I we'll get this head on. Got a chain guide there, bungee cord. We'll get somebody to hold that up, and we'll get the head on, and get it all top down, take it from there. So, we'll call these stuff these BMW minis. Uh, Head all bolted up on it. And make sure I'm going take the boot. Make sure my camera can sit. Just not. Only button here. Okay. Lovely stuff. There we go. Right. So, pause the video. Are you holding the chain up, eh? Welcome back to TikTok guys, a wee heart, a wee follow, it's quality money. There's 20 newton meters on, Wolves at number 3, so you are just in time for the rest. So this is the first stage, about 20 newton meters, my tech angle snap on. It wasn't that expensive, honest. It wasn't that expensive. Well, that's what you tell me. Well, I got a little snap on guy to help me. There's no issues with this cap. I've had two caps on this, but there's no issues with them. So it was at number four, I'm just to check. Number four, 28 meter. Number four, number five is over here. Right, double check that. Alright, that's 11.13. We want to go to 20, so what's happened here is it's probably went back to 10 newton meters. Which it has. So we'll just go back to 20, that was my bad. See how you have to Six. So seven's over here. Try and do it in one swoop as well, if you can. Much better. I don't like that's how I was taught so that's how it's done. Number eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm gonna send you ten. Again, I get it in one swoop. Over oh, twenty. Nine night. Nine night. So that's the first stage on those. The next stage is forty eight meters, so I'll double what we did there. And then another stage um, of 90 degrees, so that much. Quarter to, that's what you think if you're 90 degrees, that's your 90 degrees, and you're, what do you call them again? What do you call the, the gauge of working out your angles? Bio, bio, what's it called? Are you talking about the circle thing? 
Uh, five o'graph, is it? Uh, five o'graph? Aye, so that's a 45, right? So, obviously, Marianne will tell me. Perpendicular. Aye, that's the one, aye. So, 45 degrees. So, if you imagine a clock, three o'clock, eh, sorry, nine o'clock, three o'clock, 12 o'clock, that's your, that's your 90 degrees. So, you get 180, half, obviously, 360, so full 60. Full time. But, some of them can be funny, you know, 70, 45, 42, whatever. So, that's a tech angle, so it's a big half inch one as well, tech angle. The big one, I'll even remember which bolt you were on, it's that good, that wasn't that expensive either, so mm. not to worry, but it's mm. snap on stuff. So, there's also the bolts for the chain as well, which will just nip down just a minute. So, we mini, I put my engine lifter there for lifting the BMW engine out. Um, just for the van all day, so we just need to tighten that up, put some coolant in it. I've not put uh, strong coolant in it, and then we're going to drop it all out again. Obviously, you've seen all the rust that's in the system. Um, so we're going to run it, run up to temp, see what happens. Uh, we know it was 10 minutes before we took the head off it and it was spewing coolant out it. Um, so we'll see what happens now. Now that it's all shiny and newness, so everything's basically new head gasket, bolts, uh, all the gaskets, um, thermostat, everything. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, see how it goes. So she fired right up, uh, even though I had two of the leads mixed up, it fired right up. So uh, I was expecting to do the same. Management lights went off, ABS lights on, I'm not concerned. Uh, I'm not too concerned by that at the moment. Um, we'll all look at that later on. Um, so we'll run it all up to temp. Um, so you've got some smoke happening there, just with our fingers and stuff like that, oily hands. So we do have the trumpet off it, but the uh, induction hose there. That bolt there, I'm going to tighten that up. Oh, and one of my sockets is still in there. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> oh, you can see that there. So, we'll get all this bled up. A wee bleed screw here. And yeah, the customer's already replaced, thankfully. Alright, and there's a couple of wee bits of tidying up to do on it as well. So, uh, don't wear alarm and all that. That's just us working on it and stuff like that. Obviously, oily hands on things, most manifold and stuff. So, yeah, so that should be all that is. So, we'll come back. Uh, hopefully to see that it's all bled up all good. So, many sounds okay. Sounds okay. Uh, oh, that's just all spilled stuff. Hopefully anyway. Hopefully. Aye. Oh, that's just all spilled. Oh, it's certainly running away okay. No heat in there yet, so. I'll put some more coolant in. Nice, that sounds quite quiet. Let's move the engine. So, you have a coolant fan there. She's been sitting running away there for a wee while now. So, on and off, on and off all morning, to be honest with you. Um, so, I think we're all good in the hood now, uh, with all the heating issues. Just everything else. You know, unfortunate that blow motor's packed in, it really is. It really is. It really is, man. Gun! Look at you, boy. Oh, God knows where they are in these buggers. God knows. I, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So, I'll be money. Back together with the engine. Not sure what the effects going on there. They're tight and there's rubber on both sides of those bolts. I'm not sure if there's something missing. Uh, it was lying in the back seat. So I don't see anything in the back, but. Uh, so I've got this one running so we can get this one shifted now, hopefully. Um, so that's no bother. Maybe this bolt's on it. Engine management light. No, oh, no, the engine management light's off, so I've obviously got everything plugged in. That's good. So we do need to run up to temp and stuff like that, but it is running, it is running, so that is a bonus, no noises for it as well, so there was a misfire when I first started it up, but I had just been on the wrong way, so not too bad, not too bad, so yeah, all good in the hood with this lame mini BMW, so we just checked the levels there, it had sucked a bit into here, so that's good, that's working as it should, that's what should happen with that kind of system. Um, so don't be alarmed if you see that going up and down if you've got that kind of system. That's basically your radiator cap. Uh, and you can see the bits on there. 
so we probably all put one of those 40 washies for it. Um, yeah, if the customer wants us to do that anyway. Probably. Right. It's got a new thermostat and all that in it, so. Yeah, so probably one of those in it. Those degreasers to see. Um, I don't think it's going to. <laughs> Still going to fix the heating in the car. So that's fine. Very tight this to go in. Which is good. That's what we want. Anyway, push it down. Turn it. It's <coughs> alright. Move my screwdriver. Back into my big box there. See that? Massive. Try. Right. The blow motor. It was working earlier. Just can't seem to get to come to life. As it was working. Oh, there you go, it's come back again. And it's come back again. Oh. Aye, right, aye. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure where it is on this thing. It's obviously. Nice. Right, seized up. Uh, there you go, you heard it working there, now it's no longer working. It sounds good to be car. Um, like I said, I've been running it all morning. So, just to make sure the fans come on, and I'm obviously not spewing coolant out of here. It was 10 minutes and it was spewing out of there. Try, it seems all good so far. Um, Aye, right. but I'll need to figure that out. Um, I still need to go in this car, to be honest with you. But it sounds good anyway. I think, I think they're decent enough engines with BMW ones, and it looked like somebody had done the chain and all that on it, so, so that's a bonus. So I, I have already ran it up to temperature, so it's a shame I can't get the heating to work. I'll just leave it running. I don't know if it was on end, but... <laughs> steaming. <laughs> if I need to say steaming! Not anymore! So, I'm not sure where the blower motor is on the minis. Um, certainly must be seized. It was obviously working there, he's heard that. So, hey, thanks for watching guys! Uh, hit follow if you're on the TikTok, hit subscribe if you're on the YouTube, and have a great day guys, eh?